Hello brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Welcome to Ego Ayopna. I am Hosanna David. I want to share a message with us about the rapture and the need for urgency in our preparation. Two things are very, very sure now. One out of the two is very, very sure. It is either the Lord comes to meet us or we will go to him through death. Either he comes in the rapture or we go to him when he calls us home. Luke chapter 10 verses 1 and verses 41 and 42. Uh, I want to read. Jesus answered Mother, Mother who was very, very concerned with preparation of food and he told her, Mother, Mother, thou art careful and troubled about many things but one thing is needful and Mary had chosen that good part we shall not be taken away from her. A lot of us in our local congregations will look at some Christians and will say uh, this one is over, is over righteous, this one is bothering herself, this one is thinking too much about God, this one is, over, is consumed with the thought of heaven and we mock them only to realize that what is really needful is what they are after. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. This is a matter of urgency. I have looked at many of us, majority of us Christians, even me some time ago, it was like that for me. We don't care about whether the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back or not. We don't care about Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, that only one thing is needful, and that is the kingdom of God and His righteousness. All other things are supposed to follow, but we are putting the horse, we are putting the cart before the horse. We Many of us don't care about our salvation. Many of us are carried away by uh, false teachings, prosperity, about miracles, about healing, about the things that are supposed to follow us, about protection. And we are running after this, these things, not caring even about our lives. I tell you one truth that you may see better today, that on a sick bed, man thinks of only one thing. And that is a human life. Satan knows this truth. And that is why he told God. In the book of Job. That a man will give everything he has for his life. That is the truth. But the truth is that we are pursuing everything. At the expense of our eternal life. Call yourself to order. There is no time. People are dying every day. People are dying. People are dying of cancer. People are dying of war. People are dying. The one you see today, you may not, there is no, we are not, we can guarantee, guarantee life 100% that we are going to see the person. The next minute, people are dying. It's a matter of urgency. If lukewarmness has been cast upon your mind, please go into fasting. Tear it off. Your, tear it off. Tear it off your life. And Get hold on unto God. Be sure of your salvation. Matthew chapter 16 verse 26. There is a very huge one in there. That for what is it a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Your soul is so important to God. Don't get deceived. Only one thing is needed. Only one is needful now. And that is your salvation. I am saying it with all seriousness. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will impress this words in, in your heart. If you are not saved. If you know you are not saved. Please. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Some are saying that repentance is not needed. For our salvation. Oh. I tell you, Jesus Christ said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Read John chapter 3. Except a man, it is a matter of must. If you are not born again, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. He cannot. 
And you can't be born again without repenting of your sins, confessing them, forsaking them, and living the new life in Christ. Dying with Christ through denouncing, renouncing these things and getting baptized, participating in the burial and in the resurrection of Jesus Christ through baptism. And when you are raised up, you are risen into new life in Christ Jesus. Don't forget that you are going to leave your gold. You are going to leave your children. At death, you are going to leave everything. But only one thing will be your concern. And that is where you are going to. If you are not sure of tomorrow, please be sure of one thing. That whenever we are called home, or whenever the Lord comes, we are sure of one thing. That by His grace, by His mercy, we will make it. Everything is crumbling. The world system is crumbling. Please, wake up. There is no time. Let, this is the best time. It is written, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. You may be head bound by demonic forces, by different kinds of things, but I tell you, if you are willing and obedient, the Lord will give you strength. It may be an addiction. It may be any kind of thing. Something holding you. But I tell you the power of Jesus is able to bring you out of every form of bondage. Just be ready. Just ask him to come into your heart. Just go down on your knees and cry to him. I've had a lot of rapture dreams. A lot of people have been having a lot of rapture dreams. Please, this is the end time. There is no other time that is best for repentance than now. Thank you and share this video even as you watch it. God bless you. Bye.